Welcome, young explorers, to a magical journey inside the human body with Bruna and Diogo's Bone Adventure, exploring the human skeleton. This isn't just any story. It's a thrilling exploration filled with fascinating facts, fun activities, and interactive challenges. Before we dive into Bruna and Diogo's incredible adventure, let's see how much you already know about the human skeleton. Are you ready to test your knowledge with a few questions? Don't worry if you're not sure about the answers now. By the end of this adventure, you'll be a bone expert. What is the longest bone in your body? Can you name the bone that protects your brain? How many bones are there in a human adult's body? Keep these questions in mind as you join Bruna and Diogo on their journey. Along the way, you'll discover the answers and much more, learning all about the amazing bones that make up our bodies. So grab your explorer's hat and let's start the adventure. In a small town filled with secrets and wonders lived two siblings, Bruna and Diogo, known for their boundless curiosity. Bruna, with her bright eyes and adventurous spirit, loved to explore and ask why about everything. Diogo, thoughtful and creative, always had his notebook ready to jot down their discoveries. Their favorite place was the attic, a treasure trove of old books and mysterious objects left by their great-grandfather, a famous explorer. Among these treasures was a very special book, ancient and bound in leather, that seemed to whisper tales of untold secrets about the human body. One rainy afternoon, while rummaging through the attic, Bruna's hand brushed against the old book. Suddenly, the room filled with a soft golden glow. The book opened to a page with a beautifully detailed skeleton and a whirlwind of light enveloped them. Whoa, what's happening? exclaimed Bruna as they started shrinking, the world around them growing immensely. Diogo, gripping his notebook tightly, replied with wide-eyed wonder. I think we're about to find out. As the light faded, they found themselves standing in a vast, unexplored world, the beginning of an incredible journey through the human body. Their mission, to learn the secrets of the bones that build us. Ready for an adventure, Diogo? Bruna asked, her voice trembling with excitement. <sighs> Always, Diogo answered with a grin. And so, their journey into the world of bones began. As they ventured into this new world, the first stop was a gigantic structure resembling a smiling face. This is a human skull, Diogo said, flipping through his notebook. Bruna tapped the skull gently. It's like a helmet for our brain, she marveled. It protects our brain and also gives our face its shape. The skull, with its hollow eyes, seemed to wink at them. Did you know, Diogo read aloud, the skull is not one, but many bones joined together. Twenty-two, more precisely and it has a special bone called the mandible that lets us talk and eat. Next, they stumbled upon a long, curvy structure. This must be the spine, exclaimed Bruna, bending it gently. It's like a stack of bones called vertebrae. Diogo nodded. It's super important. It supports our body and helps us bend and twist. Plus, it protects the spinal cord which sends messages from our brain to the rest of our body. Bruna giggled as she pretended to be a robot. Without our spine, we'd all be stiff like this. Their adventure led them to a structure resembling a protective cage. Look, Diogo, it's the rib cage, Bruna said, gently tapping on the ribs. Diogo looked impressed. The rib cage is like a shield for our heart and lungs. It protects them and helps us breathe. He counted the ribs. There are 12 pairs of ribs in all. Bruna took a deep breath and watched the rib cage rise and fall. 
It moves when we breathe. That's so cool. Next, they encountered three long bones. These are the bones of the arm, Diogo explained. The top one is the humerus, and the two below are the radius and ulna. Bruna lifted the humerus. It's strong but light. Bones are amazing. Diogo flexed his arm. And look, our elbows have joints that let us bend and straighten our arms. Without joints, we couldn't move. Bruna playfully mimicked a robot again, moving her arms stiffly. Imagine if we couldn't bend our elbows like this. Wow, look at this! Bruna exclaimed as they reached a massive hand. Our hands have so many small bones. Diogo compared his hand with the giant one. There are 27 bones in each hand, he said, counting. They make our hands flexible and strong enough to grip and hold things. Bruna tried moving the giant fingers. Each finger has three bones, except the thumb, which has two. That's why we can do so much with our hands, like writing or playing a piano. Their journey continued to two of the longest bones in the body. These are the leg bones, Diogo noted. The thigh bone here is called the femur, and it's the longest bone in our body. Bruna was measuring the femur. It's so strong and supports our weight when we stand, walk or jump. Diogo bent his knee. And these other two bones, the tibia and fibula, help form our lower leg. The knee joint here lets our legs bend and straighten, just like our elbows. Bruna jumped in place. Our legs are amazing for all the things they let us do. Check out these bones, Bruna said excitedly as they reached a gigantic foot. Our feet have so many bones to help us balance and walk. Diogo looked at the foot and then at his own. There are 26 bones in each foot, he observed. They form arches that act like springs when we walk or run. Bruna tried to stand on the toes of the giant foot. Our toes help us keep our balance. Without them, walking would be tricky. Our adventure isn't just about bones, Diogo said, as they explored different joint models. Joints are where two bones meet, and they help us move in different ways. Bruna moved a hinge joint model. Like our elbows and knees, this hinge joint lets us bend and straighten. Diogo demonstrated with a ball and socket joint model. And this type lets us swing our arms and legs in all directions, like our hips and shoulders. Um. Bruna nodded, playing with a pivot joint model. And thanks to pivot joints, we can turn our heads. After learning about bones and joints, Bruna and Diogo found themselves in a whimsical kitchen. Bones need care too, Bruna said, pouring a glass of milk. Foods rich in calcium, like milk and cheese, help make them strong. Diogo added some leafy greens to a salad. And don't forget about vitamin D and exercise. They're important for healthy bones, too. Bruna nodded, preparing to drink some milk. Eating right and staying active keeps our bones happy and strong. Back in their attic, Bruna and Diogo returned to their normal size their minds buzzing with all they had learned. That was amazing, Bruna exclaimed, looking at their notes and sketches. Diogo agreed, we learned so much about our bones and how to keep them healthy. They arranged their drawings and notes into a small book. Let's share our adventure with our friends, Bruna suggested. Everyone should know how incredible our bones are. And with that, they planned their next adventure, ready to explore and learn even more about the amazing human body. As they put the skeleton book back on the shelf, Bruna's eyes caught another glowing book. Diogo, look, she whispered. 
Diogo's eyes sparkled with curiosity. Another adventure awaits. I wonder what mysteries this book holds. Bruna grinned. Let's find out next time. Maybe we'll explore the muscles or even the mysteries of the heart. As they left the attic, the book glowed brighter, promising more adventures and secrets to uncover about the amazing human body. Bruna and Diogo stood in the attic, surrounded by their incredible discoveries. We had so much fun learning about bones with you, Bruna said with a smile. Diogo added, and we hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as we did. Remember, your body is an amazing thing and there's so much more to learn. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and who knows what mysteries you'll uncover next, Bruna cheered. Until our next adventure, stay curious, Diogo waved. Bruna and Diogo are already gearing up for their next adventure and they can't wait for you to join them. Who knows what fascinating discoveries lie ahead. If you loved journeying with Bruna and Diogo, don't forget to share this adventure with your friends and family. Your enthusiasm and curiosity make these explorations even more thrilling. And remember, to stay updated on Bruna and Diogo's upcoming adventures, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow their stories. Your support means the world to us and fuels more exciting journeys into the realms of knowledge and discovery. Until we meet again, keep exploring, stay curious, and get ready for more adventures with Bruna and Diogo.